everyone. How are we doing? Uh, this is a little bit of a different video. <laughs> um, I'm doing a voiceover after I've uh, made this little page uh, of the artist way. Um, I started at when did I did this? I did this Friday. Uh, so I read the introduction and tools of uh, the artist way and then I made sure to take some notes I had like uh, it's off screen here but you will see me once in a while pausing uh, because I'm look I'm taking a look at you know what I wrote down and stuff like that so I took some notes uh, which are terrible <laughs> Uh, so that's why I decided to make a proper page, basically, about, um, you know, the important points for me of the artist way, the things that I, that spoke to me and such. So that way I could have like a visual reminder of sorts of what is important for me. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense. Anyway, um, so yeah, I recorded this, uh, the video itself, I recorded on Sunday, but I've noticed that the base of my camera is a bit wobbly, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> uh, I did not know that uh, when I was filming it, uh, so I will rectify that for the next video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, uh, I got the inspiration uh, of making such a page uh, from someone that I had uh, a meeting with about the artist way, you know, about it's it's a way of kind of being accountable, if you know what I mean. Um, so, and it did really help um, to talk about, you know, the, what is being discussed in the introduction and and about the tools. But also like trying to figure out what is actually important for you know uh, for that person and for me and how that would be able to help us going forward so you'll see me using a pencil to add some interest with the color um, <laughs> uh, that pencil actually needed to be sharpened, but I was like, let's just, you know, try and make do. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I have to say that some parts of the introduction, I was a little bit, how should I say that? I was a bit confused at times, um, because she was kind of wordy and a lot of things just if I put them into like my own language between parentheses um, for me it seems more like okay that's the same and that is the same as well but different differently worded and that's the same as well so for me it was a bit like um it's it's you know like with the ten basic principles um, a lot of things were just the same but worded differently. So I was like, uh, okay, let's just, you know, put creativity and then, you know, it's natural, it comes from nature, it's a na natural state of being, etc., etc. So, um, so I kind of just condensed that all, uh, into a short, a shorter like, I don't know, how many lines was that? Four or five-ish? So, and then I put more of the emphasis on the tools um, because that was important for me to figure out, uh, to not really figure out, to have an idea of why those tools are really important. Um, so for the morning pages, uh, it's more of a, the morning pages are more of an, uh, things to get out, more like a brain dump for me, uh, you know, to, to all the 
the, the soggy logical stuff that you know swims around in your head <laughs> and then you just need to get it out on paper and you know to actually get access to the rest of the creativity and, and you know the fun things um, so that's what I you know wrote about on the uh, what the morning pages were for it's more like you know the logical brain the sensor you know the book talks about all of that um, and to actually realize because I've been doing journaling for quite a while I actually already have sort of a routine going in the sense of first I, I, I get stuff out I get stuff you know things that are irritating or problems that I have or whatever and I just you know moan a bit and vent about it you know stuff like that and then um, after that I'm kind of sick of my own moaning and stuff like that <laughs> so I just uh, I'm like okay I've done the moaning I've done the venting okay so what is actually the problem and so basically more like analyzing and processing and then I start to look for solutions that's how my journaling has developed over the years and what I'm still using so basically the morning pages is more like I don't do this every day so the morning pages is, for, is an excuse to actually do it every day if you know what I mean um, so my own routine in, in journaling that kind of stuff you know for the mental health is that process of several steps and then okay I've got a solution and how you know I'm, I'm trying to make the solution practical let's put it that way um, so yeah after I've uh, done the the writing bits on you know the morning pages and stuff like that then there's the other tool the artist dates um and it was it was really good that i uh, read the uh you know the explanation of the tools again uh because i apparently forgot some stuff about it you know it was just you know kind of lost in the recesses of my mind um and i realized that it's basically something how do I explain this it's basically giving attention to the creative part or the child uh, that comes up with these yay let's try this um, basically like giving attention to that part and it doesn't always have to cost money it doesn't always have to be outside going outside for me is definitely uh, not <laughs> something that I uh, enjoy because it's very tiring for me but I realized that for me it is very hmm, how should I put this I I'm trying to think of activities for myself that I can do indoors because I if I if I do activities that are outside um, it might be a problem for me to actually do it because it tires me so much so all that rambling to say that I'm finding stuff to do inside for uh, and you will see that later on um, that I will you know for example um, I've started doing some uh, workouts again that I used to do when I was dancing and I've started doing that again and then you know also doing some you know some light dance moves and, and, and things and it really did help you know with the music and, and, and just you know getting into the flow of it it really made me feel good I really you know I, I felt the I felt more energetic I felt more my mood was more uplifted um, and actually had fun while doing it even though from the outside it 
probably must have looked ridiculous <laughs> to see, you know, a, a grown woman just, you know, doing silly moves and, and, and stretching here and there and then waving around with hands. And But for me, at when I was doing that, I was really feeling very well, I have to say. So that's one of the things that I'm planning to do again with the, you know, first the workout with the stretching and, uh, and you know, it also helps physically because, you know, that will, that will improve my physical health as well. And then afterwards, you know, some silly dancing and, and you know, just dance like no one's watching, basically. <laughs> uh, one of the other things that I've also uh, note down was... coloring because coloring for me is very grounding. I stay in the moment. I'm just focusing on, for example, shading. I have three colors, light, medium and dark to make sure that there's some depth into what I'm doing uh, and or coloring. And besides coloring and dancing, oh, I also had intuitive expression. I don't have my planner open at the moment, where I uh, planner my journal open at the moment, where I put everything down. Uh, intuitive expression for me, in you know this case, for example, one of the exercises I would do is think of my mood and try to associate it with a color, use that color, and then also try to figure out if there's any patterns that could present the tempo of the mood. I'm not quite sure if, if I can explain this right. But for example, um, for example, my mood right now is more of a orange. Uh, orange because I feel excited in a way that I've started this journey. So it's more like excitement. Uh, I feel excited that I've uh, started, you know, this journey of the artist's way. And I'm, I'm like dreaming up all kinds of things that I can actually do um, while, you know, going through the book, doing the exercises. But also I'm having ideas for fiction writing, even though I actually don't have time for it. They say you have to make time, but that's what I just don't, so it's being put on the back burner, basically. One of the other things that I've also been thinking about is just a place where I can experiment and be joyful and playful and all those kind of things inside a specific book or booklet, you know, the inner child thing. And um, I've I haven't started putting it together yet. I'm just trying to make sure that I have enough pages printed back and forth and uh, back and forth. <laughs> I meant uh, you know on the back and the front, so that I can you know experiment a little. For example, just using a one medium and swatching it and trying to make something, you know, fun with it. Just swatching, basically, you know, because, you know, you can put them all like in the colors of the rainbows. And that's just something that's that's really fun for me to do. So that's, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about. And I probably need to do a little bit more searching do a little bit, a little bit of a brain dump to figure out exactly what it is that you know makes me happy and more excited, more orange <laughs> than uh, than how I'm feeling usually, so that I can just you know. Take a look at the booklet. Take a look at, at the book that I, that I've, I will be making, and just seeing how all these colorful, fun things can inspire me to actually do something different with it. You know, like 
basically like filling the well. Uh, so finding more activities that have to do with filling the well. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a brainstorm on that as well. And I put it also down uh, on, the, uh, on, the bot on the bottom of the second page because uh, it was just, I did it on the, you know, it's just on the fly, but I've, I've got more uh, brainstorming to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different video. <laughs> um, I'll probably, for the next time, I'll film some of the uh, booklet that I've made and such. Um, and yeah, if you're doing the artist way, you can join me or you know, can do it on yourself. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I also thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.